Not only is all your affliction momentary, not only is all your affliction light in comparison to eternity and the glory there, but all of it is totally meaningful. Every millisecond of your pain from the fallen nature or fallen man, every millisecond of your misery in the path of obedience is producing a peculiar glory you will get because of that. I don't care if it was cancer or criticism. I don't care if it was slander or sickness. It wasn't meaningless. It's doing something. It's not meaningless. Of course you can't see what it's doing. Don't look to what is seen. When your mom dies, when your kid dies, when you got cancer at 40, when a car careens into the sidewalk and takes her out, don't, don't say, it's meaningless. It's not. It's working for you an eternal weight of glory. Therefore, therefore, do not lose heart, but take these truths and day by day, Focus on them. Preach them to yourself. 
every morning. Get alone with God and preach His Word into your mind until your heart sings with confidence that you are new and cared for. sad today for ourselves, but do not make the mistake of being sad for a loser. When you hear of someone so young passing, it's, oh, they never got to live life the way they did. Not with Lucy. She experienced everything she could here on earth. She experienced life like better than more 90-year-olds than I know. She laughed harder. She cried harder. She joked better. She took worse selfies than. <laughs> Do not be sorry for Lucy. We can be sorry for ourselves that we don't get the joy of laughing at her and laughing with her anymore. But don't be sorry for Lucy. She lived life and she lived it well. For Lucy and for all of us who call Jesus King, death is not an end but the beginning of something greater.